today I am going to do a tutorial. Now I am by no means an expert in this stuff but I managed to get one working so now I feel like I should uh, you know tell you guys how to do it because I haven't actually seen a tutorial on this on YouTube before. So this is an all wheel drive piston powered car. Um, and so by the end of this video, you should hopefully know exactly how to build one. Obviously being piston powered, it's not going to be the greatest, but it's pretty damn cool to look at. So this isn't modded. You can make one vanilla using switches, but I have mods. So I just use a W and S converter that that's literally it. You can replace them with switches just fine. Um, but yeah, I hold W and uh, it goes forwards and it is in fact all wheel drive. It has suspension and it can, it can in fact turn, which I think is a pretty important part of a car. You know, it doesn't handle the greatest because uh, there's no way weight on it. If you like add on to these blocks and give it an actual body, it will have a bit more weight and it won't be bouncing around so much and uh, it, it will be a lot easier and better to drive. So it's just a bit bare bones right now, that's why it doesn't drive very good in the slightest. I'm only going to show you how to build the uh, the linkage part because the piston engine is a whole thing in and of itself. So if you want to see how to build this thing, then you're going to have to see another video. But I'm going to show you how to do this part and this part, make it turn, have it suspension and all that stuff because that, oh, let's be honest here, piston engines is loads of tutorials out there but figuring this stuff out on your own is a bit you know, it's a bit difficult especially if you're new to scrap mechanic like me so obviously we have ourselves a uh, piston engine so i am going to use this thing here and this is one of my better piston engines i haven't built this but i sort of modified another design i'll keep a link in the description but what we're going to need to do to this thing is uh, actually a few things so first off i'm gonna oh god i'm gonna slap a massive chunk of concrete on it so that it doesn't go everywhere um it's already trying to leave anyway let's uh, find one of these there we go build one of those all right so now we have a compact pass through these are really simple to build if you want to see a tutorial and sure but again in the tutorial for this engine that i've linked below then there's going to be a tutorial for this as well so anyway uh so we've got to first off the thing with this engine is that it rotates this pipe piece over here right it goes clockwise and anti-clockwise but we need to rotate this one as well so we're going to get rid of that bearing and we're going to weld this thing here on like that and then we're gonna need this pipe piece go like that and i'll go from here oops okay oh there we go all right it's because it's all like glitch welded into each other doesn't like to play nice anyway if we weld all that up then whoops wrong color then we should end up with something that rotates on both sides instead of just the one which is uh, which is what we want so now let's work on the front so the first thing that we're going to need is a U-joint. Let me just quickly show you how to build one of those. So you go down and then up and now you have a bearing here. Then you go over one and another bearing here. So you basically need a bearing in the um, yaw and in the pitch and you don't want one you don't want one in the roll area just here and here and that's your u-joint basically done now you just gotta do some finishing touches and make sure it's realigned with so this pipe is aligned with this pipe now you can just extend this as far out as you want your front wheels to be in comparison to your engine this looks just about fine so you need a six-way pipe piece all right and then you're gonna need uh, a gear here so just use a quick vanilla gear these things they skip a lot and they're not that great but this is all vanilla so all right next thing we're gonna need is another one of these another compact pass through so hopefully i can build this in time for that to not run away there we go all right now you gotta stick the bearing on first before we a spot where it would let you all right so let's weld this on like that and uh, like so now uh for this last tooth you could take it off the lift and um sort of this is this is the thing uh, if, if this was in survival it would be a bit of a nightmare to place this oh god uh okay all right I just have to Chuck it. Oh, there we go. I think I got it. Nice. So um, a good way to check that you actually have it is have your world tool over. The whole gear highlights. If I do it here, this still highlights. So that's how you know that you've done it correctly. If you do have mods, then you can just use this block here. Glitch welder. Make your life so much easier. Now, next, you basically just continue this out as wide as you want your car to be. All right, that looks good enough. Now, we need to leave some space for the other U-joint. So we need a steering U-joint here. So let's just quickly build one of those. Okay, now for the steering U joint it's going to be a little bit different because uh, normally you'd continue this out like this and that way these are both in line but for this use case we don't actually want them to be in line so instead we're just going to have them be off to the side so let's get your wheel out hold down left click and then move it over one and so now it's not completely centered and that's what we want uh, so now you place your bearing here and 
the pipe piece going outwards, not outwards, upwards, and then there's your piston. And uh, this allows for the adjustable ride height. Right, and then now we have the uh, the suspension part to come on. But before that, we need the steering to um, exist. So you have the pipe piece going down in a U like this, and then your steering bearing is right there. Right, and then this goes back and it loops up. You might think it gets in the way with this, but because this piston is going to be extended by one or more blocks, it's not going to be in the way at all. Yeah, let's place down our suspension. Our pipe piece like that, bearing like that. This, that is the top um, of your hood. Yeah, you just have to mirror this on the other side. So I'll be back once I've done that. Okay, last little bit. And there we go. Right, so now what we want to do is weld these two together like so. So now those two are together. And then you want to weld that to the uh, the engine itself. That's the front wheels all done and dusted. Now we have the rear wheels to take off, which they don't have the steering, which means they are a lot simpler. Like a lot, lot simpler. So uh, we're going to have the same U-joint. We're going to uh, do one of those. Right, so you extend this out as much as you want. And then you make yourself another gear. Right now we're going to need another one of these. You're going to need another gear here. Right now this time I'm going to show you how to use the weld tool on this. Glitch welder rather. So you place it down anywhere on the creation. Get this color right here. Paint the block you want to remove. Um, your use button. Place it down and then once you place it back. Should be in the place. So same thing here. You can see it lights up. Just uh, I don't really know how to explain it. but. It'll make sense, it's fine. So now, you just extend this out as much as you want. Alright, let's uh, make another U-joint then. Remember again, we have to put the wheel on here and then move it over one. Right, so now we have this section here. Now, it, it changes on the back to the front. It actually it gets less complicated. So what we've got to do on this part is basically everything except without the steering bearing. Because we don't need the steering bearing to be directly on top of the U-joint, we can actually leave this um, level with the rest of uh, the piston mechanism, you don't have to move it over one, if that makes sense at all. That's that's basically it. And so now you can uh, move this inwards, have a bearing chilling there, and that is going to be your uh, minimum height for the back of your vehicle. So now we just mirror that onto here. So I'll be right back when I've done that. Okay, last bit, there we go. Right, now we just do the same thing, weld these together like that. And then we just have to weld that to the uh, the engine as well. There we go. Right. And so that is uh, basically all the linkages and stuff done. So you could, you should see here that there's a bit of suspension flex. Now let's add a seat because that's a rather important part of a car and scrap mechanic, isn't it? Place one of those down. And we'll stick our steering bearings onto the seat to make sure they're going in the right direction. Are indeed. And then we'll just hook the uh, the buttons up to, um, the switches rather, up to our seat. And uh, we'll just make these a little bit more stiff so that it's a bit less wobbly. Right, now when I press 1. Uh, Right, um, I forgot something. A rather essential part of this whole thing to work. So we need two logic gates, right? So uh, one and two. This is going to be anything you want, doesn't really matter. This is going to be a nor. Hook this into each other, we have a constant on thingy. You've got to hook those into the pistons, right? This is a rather essential part that I kind of completely overlooked. As you can tell, I'm not very good at this. So yeah, we just leave this at uh, whatever it is by default. So now we have like a one block extra right height. And so we press one and okay guys I, I fixed it you know what the problem was um this so before the u-joint wasn't you know like that it was this was that pipe piece so i started off like this but it uh, turns out these switches were in the way of that so it stopped everything from working but uh, I, I moved the U-joint over. So if you were copying this exactly, then uh, you kind of just have to move the U-joint over one. And so basically trying to make it look like this. And put on the left for you. There. This is what it was supposed to look like. Um, I kind of condensed it inwards one. If you didn't have switches here, depending on which engine you're using, if there weren't any switches there, it would be fine. But uh, I do. And I don't want to move those switches. So it's, it, we're going to go this way. All right. <laughs> With that slight headache out of the way. Uh, when I press number one, it moves. It moves forwards and uh, depending on your engine as well, it can move either quickly or slowly. But uh, yeah, it, it moves. And we also have some suspension capabilities. So why like either it's going to completely roll by the side of it or it's going to go over. It, it 
it's did a combination of the two anyway uh, you can see it works when I'm turning as well the turning radius is pretty large because there's not much weight on the front wheels um, if any <laughs> so yeah um, you add a body to this thing do a bit more fine tuning and you'll end up with a pretty solid all-wheel drive piston powered car so it's all gonna be good so yeah hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys next time bye